Hey guys, what's up? W Gaming here, and I'm hoping that you're all doing phenomenally well. Today we have a new video for you guys. Today we will be talking about the anniversary surprise you event. So yeah, let's go right in. Here it comes. <laughs> So the anniversary surprised you. How did they do it? They're gonna give away Super Chrono Chris. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just joking here, guys. No, they're, they're not gonna do that. They want you to buy the Super Chrono Crystals. They want you to spend your money. Yeah, yeah, but that's not it. <laughs> Definitely not. What it is, is basically you do a couple of missions and then you get a ticket on which you can pick and choose the character you want. Yeah, that's great, right? And it's like every character, basically every character all the way up to the year 2020. So just right before 2021, like before 2021, like the year 2020, the last character you got in 2020, that's the last character you can actually pick from this ticket right here. So basically the red Frieza right here, this red movies Frieza right here is the last character we got up until 2020 just before 2021 so you can pick any of those sparking characters once you complete the missions so how do you complete the missions well you go to the missions tab right here and you basically let's see you see it right here anniversary surprised you here are the missions now i, I already cleared one i don't remember which one it was um i, I just fought against like some bot or something and, and it got it done then it says to use hoi poi coins to get 10 items then it uses use one energy to ultimate to on the ultimate fusion clash against a deity so you basically go all the way over here and you i think you just beat up hercule <laughs> and like you get that the mission completed so you do that and you, you so i killed one and then I do that. Those are two, two missions, and the Holy Poi Koi is three. And then let's fight uh, three times. You just do that daily anyway, so you get that. And then you just KO a character ten times, and voila! Just you do that, and then you collect the ticket right here. Now, once you collect that ticket, doing those missions, you should go over here, and you see right here on the exchange shops, you see this one right here. You pick it and then you can see all the characters you can get all the way like down here all the way to the almighty yellow Pycon like you know you have to spend the tickets on this guy you know right <laughs> now I'm just joking of course not please 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 for the love of everything don't do that <laughs> please and yeah so you can see here we've got a lot a lot of sparkings like basically every sparking just before the 20 year 2020 or just before the year 2021 so there's a lot of them you might be missing like i was missing this android 18 for all for the longest time so this is one that we got right here and yeah there's there's a lot of characters a lot of things that you might feel you need you might want uh you might just want to power up a zenkai unit that you, you already have that you want them um, to be stronger and there's a lot there's a lot of things that you can actually do here with this now in my opinion um i feel that the best value you can get out of this since you can pick basically any character is one obviously make your main team stronger so if you just have a main team and you see a character over here let's say you're running gt and that's your main you could just use it on this goku you know uh, you, you know i'm although i'm saying this i'm with green rough i saw his video a little bit earlier earlier ago and yeah like spending it on a character that you already have zanka you could just multi-z power them and you're gonna get like the thing now 
it maybe it's not the best value unless you really want to send kai dem and you just don't have it right now then you can just because you like get the last multi c power you need it is possible that that could be a good option but most of the time you can just multi c power them it's not that crazy now there's if you're a collector you just like to collect characters obviously in like in that sense the best way to go is like collect the character if there's a character that you don't have just pick that character now if you want to be a heavy pvp grinder and, and you want to get the top ranks you have to think about your main team and how to make them stronger better faster and everything that you need right so you just have to build up on that now in general in general which units do i think is are the best i believe that in my opinion the best units are the support units in this case like what can you get out of this ticket right here if you don't have vados like you better pick her <laughs> i mean if you don't main god key you don't main rival universe you don't main girls you, you don't main half of the teams in the game <laughs> like God Key is really good, Girls is obviously really good as well, and Rival Universe is getting up there, they're pretty darn good. So Vados, for me, like, she's gold, she's really, really good, and she's high value, high value, because she's a support, she doesn't have to be the crazy damage dealer, she's gonna be timeless in a sense um, until another amazing sparking support character comes our way it's probably maybe a sparking wheeze or something like that if that happens well she might die down but at this moment right now for today like she's high value in my opinion and like goten as well he's a support for sun family if your main team is sun family he's a support you can get him like it's very very good now there is a chance you don't have a character i don't have this trunks I could pick him just to pull him, but I don't really run Vegeta family that much or hybrid Saiyans. So it's like if I were if I was a collector, I would just pick him just to get him. But he's not gonna really work for me a lot, and like I would prefer to wait till the green god key vegeta the future one that beats up goku black the lf one i'll wait for him to get a zenkai and then wait till the day i get him to the seven stars and i feel that might be better for me so it's not like a crazy thing to do to just pick him out now i don't have this goku too and i run a goku team it would be nice to get him actually so that's something i might just think about and just keep it on my mind you know but i don't think he's gonna you know he's got his age quite a bit so i don't i don't know if i should do that actually and i already have this goku at least so he gets endurance <sighs> yeah there are just, it's just so many characters to pick from right but i believe that the f safest way to go you want to feel like you really really got something out of this is either a character you need for your main team that you haven't pulled that would be super good for you right this is like amazingly good or a support character that's gonna get your team up there and it's gonna help and goten and vados yeah like or and like vados especially like she can be around more teams and like she can be more you know more of a support in general for a lot of teams and stuff like vados is high value i would really lend you to to consider her so yeah like anyway at the end of the day pick whatever you want <laughs> Just have fun, like be be happy with with it and like get the most out of it, and you'll be fine, okay? So yeah, there's somebody turned on the car. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave you here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got something really cool out of it. And if you did, please consider giving us a like, a share, and stay here, like, subscribe to the channel to for more content to come. Yeah, guys, please take care and bye bye.